Hey guys, welcome in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. My name is Tam. I'm also known as the Enlightened Auntie. Um, welcome. <laughs> I am doing a general love reading today for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a general reading. It will not resonate for everyone. Cross watchers are welcome. Hello, hello. Um, I'm trying to put these videos out more frequently so I can drive more traffic to the channel. Um, so that I'm doing this a little bit more and a little less of the personal readings, although my books are always open. If you'd like to book a personal reading more in tune and aligned with your situation, all of my information, again, is below. You can go directly to my website at www.enlightenedauntie.com. All right, so let's take a look at what's happened in your recent past, Pisces. Let's see what's going on. Uh-oh, we'll take these. Oh, damn. Okay, so someone walked away from a connection. This is weird, okay, I don't, cause I don't know the order. I see this, okay, let me grab the other card. <laughs> I'm like, damn. So somebody walked away, okay. Somebody walked away from a connection. I took one more card than I wanted. I didn't want all those. Okay. Take the last couple of cards here for your recent pass. See what's going on with you. Ay, 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 ay. Okay. All right, Pisces, what's going on, man? <laughs> Bottom of the deck is the Three of Swords, so dealing with heartbreak, separation. Okay, I see it. Um, someone walked away from a connection that was emotionally no longer fulfilling, and so now um, this could be you or this could be, you know, your person. Somebody walked away, and now there's a feeling of being left out in the cold, abandoned, rejected, turned away. Um, I do get a sense that there's been a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights. Um, there may have been a missed opportunity. I feel like now there's an awareness that the opportunity may have been missed. There's a desire to move um, in a new direction. You just, I feel it's more about like moving away from the past and being focused on going in a new direction. Um, which I like because it leads you to the wheel of fortune. You know, make you make certain decisions and it definitely allows the wheel to turn. When the wheel turns, it generally turns in your favor, but you gotta make the decision first, right? Um, five of swords, seven of wands. So the five of swords for me is about, it is about conflict. Um, This can be about mental conflict. This, I mean, because I see the anxiety. This could be about mental conflict, but this also, I feel like, okay, so this is mental conflict. This is anxiety. <clears throat> I feel like anxiety and general unhappiness about the state of your life, recent past, right? And maybe having illumination and now awareness that you need to do something different. And in making that decision, it may create some conflict with other people. Um, the Five of Swords also kind of talks about resentment as well. So um, if you've been carrying any type of resentment due to somebody walking away, uh, that resentment keeps you energetically tied to the situation or the person that, you know, did whatever they did. But the thing is, is that if that moment in time, this person walking away is making you feel resentful, you just keep replaying that shit over and over in your head, which is why you can't get rid of this three of swords feeling. Yeah, it's something, you know, this is a relationship or situation that you, you invested or, you know, may have um, grown over long periods of time, like somebody that you've known for a long time. Um, 
And I feel like you may be in a space where you're defending your position or defending, um, defending the decision, perhaps. Um, but you're really you're you're standing your ground. All right. So let's look at what's going on in the current timeline. Hmm. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on right now with Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? I feel like you at one point may have been manifesting something or trying to manifest something and then maybe it just didn't, it didn't work out right or didn't work out the way you thought it was. Okay, so four of wands, two of cups, king of wands. This is about the connection. The four of wands is the foundation of your relationship. The two, the two of cups is the mutual love between you. The King of Wands is about the energy of taking control of the situation, kind of bossing up. This also can talk about, yeah, okay, wait, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. Hold on. Damn. Okay. So... Okay, so we have counterparts out here. So there's definitely, um, there's like, you know, some soulmate energy here, despite I don't have the Six of Cups, but definitely I've got counterparts. So there's already a deep connection and knowing, right? Um, definitely a situation that you've been dealing with, you've grown it. This is something that affects your long-term stability. This is something that definitely has something to do with your, your, your home life. Um, you could be feeling very emotional or and or withholding, withholding, that's whack. You might be withholding your emotion. Could be feel like, yeah, like feeling really emotional about the situation, but you're not telling anybody. There is a new opportunity for a new cycle. New cycle could definitely be with someone new or could be new cycle within an old dynamic, just new cycle, okay? Because the Wheel of Fortune talks about things that have been done. Like this is, whatever you've been going through, this is a cycle that has just been kind of, you know, you've been doing it for a minute. I feel like there's an awareness of that now. There's a, there has been an illumination since someone has walked away. It's like now you know. Take that how it resonates. Like, I don't know what the hell you know. But take that how it resonates. Like, now you know. What What do they know? Um, I feel like there's a desire to come back together, like, a, like a, to reconcile. Now, understand, too, because I've been lecturing on this all day, that reconciliation does not necessarily mean, um, huh, incidentally, King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean, reconciliation does not necessarily mean reunion. It just means you hash out your differences and you fist bump and you walk away. That's a potent, that's potential. But there's a new opportunity here for love, Ace of Cups, a brand new cycle. Again, could be within the dynamic that already exists or could be talking about a whole new person depending on whatever your situation is. This is for, you know, super singles, situationships, and committed relationships. The thing is, is that you know what you want. But you've been focusing on work. Focusing on recouping if there's been any kind of loss that you felt you or like financial. If you've taken any type of financial hits, I feel like you've been really working towards rebuilding, um, trying to rebuild your nest egg. Right, looking at a situation, looking at the situation, how much time and energy that you've invested. Um, there is a conversation that needs to be had, or there, and I feel as though either you're waiting or somebody is waiting to have said conversation. 
nine of wands talks about your willingness to put in put in energy to the situation provided that it comes to you you know under right conditions terms you still have the willingness to move to put energy into the situation in order for it to be harmonious and successful but you might be feeling very anxious about the whole thing despite the fact that you have everything that you need in order to create the life that you want you just have to overcome your fears and just take the leap yeah make the decision Okay, let's see what's coming up in your near future. Ooh, we like it. Ten of Cups, Pisces. We like it. We like it. Okay, Karma's come into play here. The Wheel of Fortune is out here twice. Four of Wands is out here twice. Queen of Cups is out here twice. Mm -hmm. Magician out here. Well, he's not. Te well, yeah, he is out here twice. Nine of Wands. Mm-hmm. The biggest problem, I don't even need to read the bottom of this. I'm reading from the bottom of the deck. Ciao. <laughs> so, coming into the near future, we've got Ten of Cups, Karma, which is basically the judgment card. Um, and the wheel of the year, the wheel of fortune. So the wheel of fortune's out here twice. Judgment is about the resurrection of a situation that you may have once thought of as dead. This is literally like, and in doing so, it changes the direction. You may go in a different direction, right? I feel like you may be holding on to the connection really, really tight. Again, you're holding on to it. You're holding on to this connection. You're very emotional about it. You're holding on to the connection and you're not talking about it. There's no communication here. Um, but there's a sense of withholding. The withholding part is the part I'm having an issue with. Because that's whack. No judgment, but that's whack. <laughs> Cause I lean in, I'm, I'm more of the, like, I'm into the reciprocation. Like if I give to you, or, you know, like you, you know, give in kind, like, you know, back and forth, you give in the same amount of energy that somebody's giving you. So if somebody's giving you energy or trying to extend energy and you're, you know, you feel all this, you feel the energy, but you're holding yours back and letting them do all the work. It's kind of weird, but I get that if that's kind of, you know, if that's your dynamic, Hey, like I said, no judgment, you're do your thing. Um, but you have the ability to create every, like everything that you want for yourself. You have the ability to create it. It's a matter of getting out of your own way because you feel weighed down by like responsibilities and burdens and you feel as though you're carrying the weight of the world. But have you stopped to take responsibility for feeling that way? Because part of that is your responsibility. The 10 of wands is a fucking people pleaser card. So it's like you're walking around here trying to be everything to everybody. When are you available for yourself? Right? All it does is breed resentment because you're doing all of this work and, you know, putting in all this energy and you're doing, doing, doing for all these other people who aren't doing the same thing for you. So I feel like maybe you're having an awareness now that in the past, like, yeah, maybe you, you know, I feel like there's a, like this weird, there's a weird dynamic here. The thing is, is that you've been carrying around this load or sense of responsibility and obligation and you're tired of it. Meanwhile, you resent the other people around you because they're not extending themselves to you the way that you extend yourself to them. That's not their fault. That's your fault. That's a you thing. 
Because at that point, this is where you take responsibility for putting in all this extra energy that is not being reciprocated back to you. Okay? Again, it breeds resentment. And there's new opportunities that are like right here in front of you, but you can't even take advantage of the new opportunities because you haven't put this shit down. So you've got to put something down, even though you've got energy still to give to situations that may have, you know, long been dead. You have to let the burdens down, put the burdens down and allow certain cycles to close out in order for you to take on new opportunities because you want more for yourself and you desire expansion. Do I stay or do I go? Do I stay with what I know? Do I continue doing things as I've been doing them? Or do I seek my expansion elsewhere? And all you're doing is spinning yourself into confusion, which makes you just stop and pause. So while you're in this pause, I hope you're using the time to at least see things from a new perspective so that you can make clear-headed judgment calls. Taking action to end certain cycles that you know are just not even cool and having the clarity. Now, definitely, again, I do sense there is resentment here that you may be carrying for this person from your past, your soulmate, whatever. But again, six of wands, there's victory and success in overcoming the hurdles, overcoming the conflict in order to usher in a new opportunity. I see like you're waiting and you're waiting to come together. You Like, yeah, three of wands. I feel like you may be waiting to come back together. The three, yeah, three of cups out here twice. You're waiting to come back together. But really, this is about you and needing needing to make a sound decision and i feel like maybe that you've taken too long that's a possibility because i have the tower here yeah it's just now it's just repeating 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 it's repeating all the same cards that i have here all right so let's look at your oracles we have Bottom of this deck, I have addiction, codependent, obsession, possession, controlling, has a block, restraint. Okay. Girl with a snake, empath, and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable, and boundaries. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. <laughs> I don't think I really need to go into that as I'm staring over here looking at the tower card. Forgiveness. Holding on to resentment and anger is preventing or even suffocating your spiritual growth. Resentment is one of the strongest and most damaging of human emotions. The act of forgiveness in its own right is equally incredibly powerful and it has the capacity to heal and transform. Stand your ground. Standing your ground is an empowering, confidence-building action to take from time to time. Now is the moment when you need to stand your ground. You know you can do it and you know that by doing so, you will be the victor. And our last card, Dream Talk. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. Pay attention to what's happening in your dreams. You might want to journal them. Um, yeah, interesting reading. All right, Pisces. I hope this gives you some clarity. I'm going to try to do these readings a little bit more frequently. Your energy is really gnarly, just like last time. <laughs> um, I hope you guys had a happy new year. I'll see you guys in a few more days. Take care. I'll talk to you soon.